Welcome friends. Today we are going to discuss a video lecture on one sample Z test. It can also be called as Z test. Friends, as you know, Z test comes under parametric test. And you also know the applicability of Z test. When the sample size is more than 30, automatically we try to work it out with the help of Z test. And if it is lesser than 30, we apply Z test. Now, today's session we are going to discuss one sample Z test. In our next session, we will discuss about the two samples Z test. I have a problem to solve, and we are going to test the hypothesis too. The problem is the data correspond to the mathematic grade average for the first semester of a class of 33 students. The students with the country average which is 11.5. Compare the results of those students with the country average. You are asked to determine whether there is any difference between the average of the class and the average of the all the students in the country are similar or different with a significant level of 0 0.05. So this was the problem given to us. Now we are going to work it out. You know, the formula of Z test is Z equal to mean of sample minus mu, that is mean of population divided by standard deviation of population divided by square root of N, that is number of observations. So this was the formula for Z test. So with this, formula we are going to apply for it based upon the problem itself we have n equal to 33 so 33 values i have as a data sample data what we are going to calculate so n is 33 i just mark and the, in the problem itself it have been given that the country average is 11.5 so the mean of population mu is 11.5 clear so what we are going to calculate we are going to calculate the sample mean we are going to calculate standard deviation of population and we are going to calculate the square root of n. By calculating these things, we can calculate the z value. Shall we go? Yes, sample mean. You know the formula for sample mean equal to go with average. Select all the 33 values in the problem. Close the bracket, give enter. Yes, 11.1212 is the sample mean. And we have mean of population mu equal to 11.5, which have been given in the problem itself. Now we are going to find out the standard deviation of population. For this, equal to, we have a formula for standard deviation of population. You just type st T E V dot P. So this what the standard deviation of population. Click this and select all the 33 values. Selected and I will close the bracket. Here we enter 3.5021 is the standard deviation of population we have calculated. Now we are going to calculate the square root of n. Square root of n equal to sqrt we have sqrt formula yes here number 33 you click this value close the bracket give n yes we have calculated square root of n now we need the denominator value for z test it is Standard deviation of population divided by square root of n. Here, I'm just typing denominator. We are going to find out. So here, I'm going to calculate the denominator equal to opening the bracket. Standard deviation of population. We have already found out. 3.50 I'm just clicking this value closing the bracket divided by square root of n already we found it I'm just clicking this giving enter 
yes so the denominator value is 0.60964 now we are going to calculate the z value right because we have all the values now we are going to calculate z value equal in the bracket z value formula is mean of sample minus mu so sample mean this particular value 11.1212 i'm clicking this minus mu value is 11.5 closing the bracket divided by the denominator already we found 0.60964 i am clicking this particular cell and i am giving enter yes we calculated z value that is minus 0.6213 right now we are going to test the hypothesis you know null hypothesis is h naught there is no significant difference between the grades alternative hypothesis h1 there is a significant difference between the grades it should be compared with the particular class grades along with the country average now z value we have calculated it is minus 0 0.6213 minus 0. 6213 and the table value for this particular problem based upon the p value is 1.95996 so we can test the hypothesis here the calculated z value is lesser than the table value so automatically we accept the null hypothesis since minus 0.6213 the calculated value is lesser than the table value of 1.95996 we accept null hypothesis so there is no significant difference between the grades obtained by this particular class along with the country average 11.5 so this what the solution we just calculated with the help of one sample z test guys if you have any queries related to this particular problem please call and we will discuss two sample z test in our next session thank you